In this second walkthrough video for Pederas Vasque's strings, we'll explore the other half of this collection, the solo strings or first chair instruments. Here we have the leaders of each group performing by themselves as soloists. These instruments work tremendously well on their own as a quartet or quintet or as additional colors or layers over the ensemble sections of this collection. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure to check out the first walkthrough video on the sections. We looked at the wide range of articulations available for the sections in the first walkthrough. The solo instruments are no different, offering the same richness and variety, although we adapted some concepts of certain articulations, tailoring them specifically to fit the requirements of solo strings. The first notable difference concerns how we recorded and programmed the legato patches. We'll spare you the mechanics, but instead of the dynamic layer-focused approach of the ensembles, we opted for a style and color-focused approach for the solo instruments. This means you don't get one legato patch with three dynamic layers that you can crossfade. Instead, you get three different styles of legato playing, all of which function on their own. Lyrical legato for flowing melodies, expressive legato for more punch, and saltesto legato for quiet moments. Why did we choose this approach? Well, we found that with solo strings, crossfading dynamic layers, especially with the recordings in lush ambient spaces, involves a lot of compromises in terms of sound and realism. And we absolutely didn't want to compromise the beautiful sound that we captured at St. John's Church in Riga, Latvia. So let's dive in and start with the first violin, our concertmaster. Just like with the ensemble sustains, the sustains for the solo strings have two different attack options, soft and immediate. These work great on their own, but become even more powerful when combined. A simple example would be to use the soft sustain as the starting note of a melody and the immediate sustains for the following notes. You can also think of the soft sustains as appropriate for slower phrases, while the immediate sustains also work at a faster tempo. So if you like, with these two options for the three legato styles, you get six legato options to work with. Now, if you need your first chair soloist to stand out, use the expressive legato and sustains articulation. Here's how that sounds. We also have the Saltesto legato, a very quiet, soft, and intimate legato sound for our first chairs. The first chair soloists in Pederis Vasque's strings are not only capable melodic players, thanks to the wide set of articulations available, they're truly versatile performers. Let's continue with the short notes. These are exactly the same styles that you get with the ensembles. And here we also have three dynamic layers, so you can morph between them using the mod wheel or switch and control via velocity or MIDI CC. It just depends on your playing style and how you set up your sign player. 
Here's how they sound. We have tremolos, trills, and harmonics articulations as well. These articulations in particular can be the key to creating compelling and convincing musical textures. Here's an example showing how Pederis Vasque's strings enables you to shape those textures by using either the ensembles or the first chair soloists. Now, because we want it to be as consistent as possible, the first chair soloists have the same gestures, i.e. the same special articulations, as the ensembles. You get exactly the same glissando styles, as well as the waving longs articulation, with its different dynamic and performance layers. Performed by a soloist, those glissando articulations are especially delicate, as demonstrated here. You get the interval upbeat performances both up and down, as well as single and short trills which utilize minor second, major second, and minor third intervals. Thank you. 
These are useful not only for nice accents and flourishes, but also for creating moving patterns and textures, especially when combined with the other instruments and sections of Petrus Vasque's strings. Here are some flourishing textures in action. This might also be a good time to take a look at the mixer in the sign player and see what we can do with the first chair instruments. Obviously, we use the exact same microphone setup as with the ensembles, and the first chair soloists are also recorded in situ. So going from left to right, we have violin one, violin two, viola, and cello. The bass is set up in the center behind the other players. To provide more flexibility with the spot microphones, we provided the mono close mics for you here. They're panned within the sign mixer to match the panorama image of the rest of the setup, but you can reposition them however you like. Okay, so now let's also play through the other instruments individually. As with the ensemble, we have a high level of consistency here. Because the articulations are the same across the instruments, we'll concentrate here just on the sound. This is the second violin.
presenting our beautiful solo viola. When we were recording, we were struck by how nicely the church supports the warmth and emotional qualities of the viola sound here, and we were really happy that we managed to capture this sound in the recordings. The same goes for the cello.
And that was the bass, providing a defined low end with a certain crispiness, especially if you emphasize the spot microphone. So, that concludes our two walkthrough videos for Pederus Vasque's strings. We appreciate your patience and enthusiasm if you've gotten this far. But there's so much depth in this collection, we feel these detailed walkthroughs are more than justified. To close, we'd just like to say that it was a great honor to work with Pederus Vasque's, and we're proud that these strings have even managed to exceed our own expectations. We hope you love this unique sound as much as we do.